So this is the Rick Dangerous 128 gigabyte build. This is for the Raspberry Pi 3B and 3B Plus. So those of you running a, a Raspberry Pi 4, I would highly recommend some other images out there like the Wolf of Nose or the Virtual Man. But I still want to check out these images because, you know, to each their own, people have different ideas, different game collections, and this one definitely has a lot of personality in it. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you what I mean and show you what's on this image. Format. We're putting on a 400 gigabyte card. I can't find a 128 at the moment. Uh, we went ahead and did 7-zip, extracted it to its own folder, and now it's here in a disk image. So I'm just going to delete all this to make up some room on my hard drive. Permanently delete, that's fine. Then we're going to go to Win32, or you can use Etcher. Uh, H is our correct drive. Now we've got to find this image. That would be too good. It's only 120 gigs, it says. Let's go ahead and write it. Yes. Uh, so for those of you wondering, it's um, 111 gigabytes, so plenty of space. It's going to fit on even generic 128 gigabyte SD cards, only 120 billion bytes. Let's let that run and we'll boot it up. All right, so this is 128 gigabyte. I showed you how to um, unzip it and just put it on a flash on SD card. You do not need to add RetroPie. The RetroPie is already included into that. And uh, it's pretty standard image, nothing you know crazy here. You just have your standard, there's no like extra scripts or easy hack stuff or two play stuff. Um, it's fairly stock. As far as themes, the theme on here is really cool. I like to see how fast this is. Something that I've, I've been using the Raspberry Pi 4 a lot lately, and you've noticed, like, look how long it takes to load a video snap here. And that's just really the Raspberry Pi 3, and, and it's a little slower. I mean, when you, when you, even the Raspberry Pi 4 is kind of slow when you compare it to a PC. But, anyways, that being said, this is such a, you know, the Raspberry Pi has very little uh, power consumption. It's so small. So it's still doing a lot for what it is. I'm not trying to knock the Raspberry Pi, just letting you know what your expectations are and that the hardware is the limiting, is the limiting factor sometimes. I did want to see if there's any other themes on here. Looks like there is screensavers as well. Let's see those in a second. But what I wanted to do is go to themes. There you go, themes. So on Haxel right now, okay, and then we have Futura. And we have, so you installed about three add-on ones. But I really like this theme. And you go in, you have the JPEGs and the video snaps. Let's go ahead and hit select on our controller here. So no screensavers installed. Um, you can absolutely add your own. So some things I like about it is it looks like it's all for, well, no, it's not necessarily for the US market because you have Mega Drive here instead of Genesis. But uh, the box art rotates. What I, what I heard what was so great about this is that he, you know, a lot of the metadata and the information is all correct. So that's always a nice thing. And the other thing to know is he does, like Mega Drive has over 600 games. There's only 180 games here. Um, Nintendo and Super Nintendo. But total games on this whole image are actually only 1,477. And it might be like, well, that's not a lot of games for a 128 gigabyte image. And you would be right. Um, where a lot of the spaces is, is the Mega Drive CD, 26 games there. You got 60 games in your Scum VM, and then you got 120 CD-based games right here. This is probably the majority of the size of the image there. And then PC Engine CD-ROM, you have 20. And that's what I want to do next, just jump into some of these collections to show you that a lot of these games are like the best of the best games. Like these are some really cool MS-DOS games, you know, Jazz the Jack, Rabbit, The Incredible Machine. Love those games. A lot of fun to play. Hard to play on a controller. You need a keyboard and mouse, but still fun. Nintendo. You only got 100 Nintendo games. So some people might like this image because it might be a good image that you get because it kind of has the best of the best. However, because it has the best of the best, I'll see only, only two Metal Slugs. You know, because it has the best of the best, you might be you're like, well, what about Metal Slug 1? And then you have to go get that ROM. But um, let me see. We have Metal Slug 1 and 2 on the CD. Okay, cool. So you have 1, 2, 3, and X. Uh, but let's just say there's another ROM you're looking for. You might not have it with only the best of the best. So only 180 Mega Drive games. But uh, like I said, a lot of the games here are going to be your classics. You know, the ones that the majority of people want to play. You know, your Street Fighters, your Sonics, things like that. Master System, you have 50 games. Commodore 64, you got 100 games. And again, you can get like a 1,000 Commodore 64 games. You only have Atari 2600 at 50. 
Arcade Classic is at seven at uh, what did it say? One seventy. So it looks like you have some CPS one games, CPS two games, Cadillacs and dinosaurs. You got your Donkey Kong. Let's see, you have like your Street Fighters. You got your Mario Bros. So mostly ar arcade old school. It looks like you have the Simpsons two player and four player. Okay, you do have Street Fighter Alpha three and Third Strike. Nice. Super Puzzle Fighter. You have all the Teenage Mutant Turtles, both the two player and the four player. That's nice. And then you have your Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And then you got your Mega options. Again, not a lot of extra stuff on here. Just pretty standard stuff. Last played, what's he been playing? Nice. Whoa. Nice. Metal Slugs. Nice. A lot of, um, little bit of mix. Really cool game right there. Alien Breed. The original Mortal Kombat. And Cannon Fodder 2. And then you can add and remove favorites. Cool. Yeah, I was playing Carmageddon. Yeah, this is cool. A lot of really good games here. Fun games for sure. Paperboy, Sonics, Star Fox, Tekken 3, Tomb Raider. And these PlayStation games will play just fine on the Raspberry Pi 3B+. That's exactly the board that I'm running this on right now. And that's it. Why don't we go ahead and jump into some gameplay? So it's qualifying here, and look how bad I messed up. Can I recover? That's the question. So no bezels, just standard stuff. You can hit select in your hotkey to go to the retro arc menu. You can save your state very easily with your right trigger. I am trying this Power A Xbox One style controller. I'm not sure when this video will come out if that, that review will be done yet or not, but um, it's working really good for all these games. Um, anyway, so closing thoughts. Um, yeah, it's cool. I like it. This is a good image. Whew. Let's jump, okay. Whew. Come at me, bro. Got two bullets. The thing about this game that was always really interesting was these indoor levels. They're actually quite scary. So final regards, uh, I'll give this, you know, for what it is, it deserves like a B plus or so, like it's a really solid image. And for some people, it's going to be an A. For me, if it's 128 gigabytes, you know, I would really just throw all those collections on there or at least just a little bit more um, than, oh man, there's a little delay here. All right, there we go. This is like a Terminator feel to it. Um, so, as I was saying, a B or so, and um, 
that is because you know at 128 you can fit a lot more on here the other thing is i would love to see more scripts and a kind of blown out image for all those images though they already exist it's, they're kind of hard to un unbeat right now you have a dar zone has like a 400 gigabyte gig uh image that he released like a year ago and it has everything you can ever imagine and then virtual man as well has uh, you know like a 400 gigabyte as well which has everything on it. it has all the scripts and everything else so um you know to his point you know this does give you a third option and that's what i like about this and that's why i reviewed it because while there is kind of those ultimate do everything images out there some people still you know are rocking the raspberry pi 3 or 3b plus and want to know you know what's out there what are my options what are the game collections what are the systems and this does offer a little bit of a unique uh thing especially with I don't have a gun. Will I die if I challenge this guy? Um, ouch. Oh, now there's a spitter. Okay, got him. Oh, I remember the elevator music. So this is a really long outro to share with you that, um, you know, take it as you will. Those are my thoughts. Um, you can always add on to this. I like that the file size is small because you can get on it really easily. I love that theme. Do you see how fast I can switch in between games and stuff? So it really suits the Raspberry Pi um, 3 very well. But uh, anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.